Brandon Woodruff gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. But when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. And that brings up Javi Baez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And now uh, look out as Ed runs in and gets him. And a very interesting start to this one. Man, not sure if he was trying to send a message early in the game or what, but I sure hope this doesn't carry over to the rest of the game. Sometimes things like this early in the game really sets the tone for problems later, but I hope that's not the case. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Baez gets his lead at first, nobody out. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the offense. I, I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. This would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the wall. Payoff pitch home, and he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count, and it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And the 1 1 pitch. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. First and second here with nobody out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Line towards center field. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. At the plate now, Wilson Contreras on a rope to the second baseman. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber. And a great chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. And that 
misses two and one a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base now the two one Schwarber connects and sends a ball to deep right field Yelich going back still going back a leaping effort and he brings it in two away now after a great effort that was a pretty spectacular catch right there a lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on but he got it just right and hauled it in great stuff so that'll bring up Jason Hayward he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away the 3-1 center base hit 